Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I thought I would share with you some of the inexpensive makeup purchases that I've made recently because I've used a lot of high-end products recently and I feel like I need to give some love back to the more inexpensive brands because they really are good and they do have some good offerings. This is going to be a new or new-ish at the drugstore kind of haul, although we don't really call it the drugstore and I don't really shop at chemists for makeup anyway. It tends to be at Priceline. So this is going to be a new or new-ish product at Priceline haul for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to jump right into showing you guys the makeup because let's be frank, that is what you're here for. But don't forget to check the description box for a list of products as well as links and prices just because that's easier than me trying to go back and forth with the receipt and work out how much each product costs. And while you're there, there are also a whole heap of links to all my social media and things like that. So be sure to check those out as well. Okay, let's get into the makeup. The first thing that I purchased is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation. I didn't try the original Infallible. I know that this has been repackaged. I don't know if it's been reformulated. Can anybody tell me, did you use this back in the old packaging when this used to be out? Is it the same? I'm not sure. I'm really excited to try it back because it's got a lot of good reviews. I got the shade 130 True Beige does have a pump which I like, nice glass bottle. It's interesting kind of square pump, although the first time I pumped it out I noticed that the product all went down the side of the packaging, so that might be a little bit of a design flaw, but I'm looking forward to giving it a go. It's supposed to be a long wearing, quite high coverage makeup, no transfer, no visual, visible imperfections, no visible shine, no dry out, no mask effect. So got a lot of good claims there looking forward to giving that a go also from L'Oreal Paris this one is new 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 because it wasn't even on the shelves yet the girl was just kind of had it in a basket ready to put up it is the glam bronze eau de soleil uh, I think this is kind of like a cream bronzing product I think you can use it under your makeup it's a liquid bronzer for a radiant sun kissed glow with a no makeup feel I feel like you could probably use it by itself maybe if you fake tan and you want to sort of give your skin a little bit of extra color. You could use it under your foundation um, or mixed in with your foundation to give you a little bit of extra of a bronzed look. It has a similar packaging to the Nude Magique uh, foundation and it's very liquidy like that as well. So I'm looking forward to uh, playing around with that a little bit. I thought it'd be nice for some of my foundations that are a little bit pale when I uh, go into the spring and summertime. Maybe I could deepen them up with this product, but we will see how that goes. It feels very thin and lightweight just from that swatch there. Another new product that I think was released in Australia just this past week is from Rimmel London and it's their Provocalypse 16 hour kiss proof lip color. I got the shade uh, 200 I'll call you. There are about eight shades on the stand. It's one of these double ended offerings where you have the long wearing liquid lip color. This one is a really, really pretty pinky mauvey shade. It's definitely right up there with a, a color that I really, really enjoy. And then that is supposed to set and you follow that up with a uh, sort of clear lip gloss, lip balm type option. I'm really intrigued to try these. Honestly, in the past, these kind of type products haven't been for me. I haven't enjoyed them. I did wear this once and sort of tested it out. And what I found was that this product goes on really nicely. It's really creamy. It does dry down and it dries down to quite a tacky formula, which I thought was interesting. However, as soon as you apply the lip balm, that tackiness goes away and it feels really quite nice on the lips. 16 hours, I feel like is a little bit long. I Once I ate, I found that it was starting to wear away a little bit. Definitely a long wearing lip color and I will play around with it um, for a bit more, but I think that you won't get 16 hours wear out of it, particularly if you plan on eating and think you definitely need to use the lip balm because without it, the product was just way too um, tacky and sticky for me. But I'm gonna play around with that a bit more because I had some gorgeous, gorgeous colors there. A new-ish offering from Maybelline is their Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. I picked up the shade Dark Brown. I wanted to give this one a go because I tend to use um, the Benefit Gimme Brow a lot or just my Anastasia brow gel and I haven't found a drugstore sort of tinted brow product that I really enjoy. I tried the Astralis one, I just didn't get along with that. So I wanted to give this one a shot. Now this has a really interesting applicator. It has like a bauble kind of end to it which you would think would be, I don't know, 
weird that you wouldn't be able to apply it at the thin point there but if you kind of have a light hand you can seem to be able to get the product on I don't know if it's like the gimme brow it's probably more just like a tinted brow gel it definitely has some color and I'm happy with the color it's quite a cool toned brown shade which I like it's not too warm which is what I found was the issue with the Australis one so I'll play around with that a little bit more and see how we go but so far it seems like quite an interesting product and maybe a nice offering from the drugstore. I'm not usually a lip gloss person but I've kind of been moving a little bit back towards lip glosses and there's a new range from Max Factor. These are I don't know what they're called because it doesn't have a name on it. Oh I hate when that happens. It's just they're like high shine glossy lip glosses. It was new or at least new release to Australia. I got the shade number 60 Polished Fuchsia. Really really pretty shade. These aren't the kind of ones. I think they do have a lot of um, pigment to them but they're not they are like your lip gloss they're not your liquid lipstick kind that are completely opaque they do have a sheerness to it but very very glossy smell quite nice too kind of just like a light slightly sweet maybe a little bit vanilla -y scent I don't know we'll see how we go with this one but I thought this would be a nice little lip product for the spring and summertime and when I applied it it didn't seem too sticky which I thought was a good sign the last lip product that I purchased was from Maybelline. This is from their uh, chocolates range or their nudes range or I, I can't quite remember what it was called. I think it came out sometime in autumn or winter but I kind of missed it completely. This is in the shade Naked Brown. Maybe it was their Naked range. It's from the Color Sensational lipstick line anyway. Look at that. Isn't that the most sort of interesting looking color? I saw this and just thought oh, this would make an awesome autumn winter lipstick it really goes with that 90s grunge thing that's going around at the moment I think it would also make a really awesome Halloween lipstick I don't know I just it was kind of unique something that I don't quite have this purpley brown shade in my collection and I just decided that I 100% needed it and grabbed it the color sensational lipsticks are great from Maybelline anyway so I'm very happy to add that shade to my collection and if you're looking for something to go with that 90s grunge trend or maybe to go for like Halloween you want a dark lip check this one out because it's awesome. The next product I swatched over a few different trips to Priceline in the end I decided to cave and buy it. It's a relatively new product from Models Prefer. It's their cream blush sticks. This is in the shade Love. They have about five or six different colors I believe at the moment. This one looks like a really bright neon coral color and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Rachel that is so not like you trust me. I felt the same but I decided to go for something a little bit different and what I like about this is when you apply it and blend it out it actually becomes like a really wearable color again I'm thinking spring I'm thinking summer I'm thinking just pops of color on the cheeks and this one was a really nice one I did test it out yesterday and it seemed to last a really long time on my cheeks as well which I thought was nice and I'm really sort of getting into the cream blushes I feel like they give a really nice natural look and even on no makeup makeup days I, I do like to put, apply a little bit of color to my cheeks just so I don't look sickly because I don't have a lot of natural color in my cheeks. The next product I actually picked up from the skincare aisle it's the L'Oreal Paris Skin Perfection Magic Touch Instant Blur and I believe this is kind of like a primer. It does say that you can use it on its own however for me I think I'll probably use it the most underneath makeup. It says apply daily alone or after a moisturizer. Dab gently onto all facial areas for a matte skin finish. Target visible pores on the nose, chin and areas prone to shine. Excellent base for makeup. Now this is not as cheap as I thought it was going to be. I think it's around $22 so it's still on the expensive side but it has kind of a tint to it. It's quite creamy. It has a similar feel to the Benefit Professional Primer but it's a bit thicker. It's definitely thicker um, and it definitely has like a kind of it gives you this blurred matte look. I was kind of trying it on the back of my hand and I was umming and ahhing and I decided you know what I'm gonna give it a go see uh, what it's like. I really do like these kind of products. I think they do help particularly since I've got quite visible pores around this area of my face and it can help sort of smooth out my makeup when I'm trying to apply it. I also like these products sometimes for over flaky skin. Sometimes they can help smooth out that as well. So I'm going to try that on some of my more dry patches, see how that goes. Play around with that a little bit more. Again, if you've tried this before, did you like it? What did you think? Did it work for you? 
I think the claims that you can kind of just use it on its own unless you have perfect skin I really don't think it's going to do that much um, but we'll, we'll see playing around with that one last couple of products I have to show you guys one of them is a nail polish this is from a relatively new spring summer Sally Hansen nail polish collection I believe it's like spring racing or something like that this is the shade 360 Barracuda just it's just the perfect so pretty baby blue color I just saw this on a video uh, by Miss Tango too she had had it on her nails and I was just like oh my gosh it's beautiful I'm so glad that I have already purchased it I didn't need to go out and buy it I already had it I hadn't had a chance to test it on myself yet but I really really love the color it's so pretty and fun and I think it's the perfect sort of spring summer shade for both your fingers and your toes the last product I picked up is from an Australian brand called Anoxa. It's the Renew Age Erase Serum Foundation. I've wanted to try this foundation for a little while and it got rave reviews from Jodie from Guru Beauty, so I thought I would pick it up. I ended up getting the shade Sand Beige, which is I think the second lightest shade. However, I'm thinking maybe I might need to take it back and get the Nude, which was the lightest shade, although I swatched it and that seemed a bit light. So we'll see, maybe this will become a summer foundation when I get a little bit more of a tan, but I'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing how it goes on my skin. So that is everything that I picked up recently from Priceline. I hope you guys have enjoyed hearing about it. I'm planning on maybe doing a get ready with me style video using some of these products so you can see them in action. Let me know if that's something that you would like to see and if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up it really does help me out other than that i hope you guys are all having an awesome day and i'll talk to you all in my next video bye